Hi guys, it's Dylan from Bijou Diamond Jewelry in London with another watch discussion video and today we're going to look at the subject of whether or not platinum is worth the premium that it holds. Okay, so I'm going to start with some facts behind platinum and some figures. So per year we see around 150 tonnes of platinum being mined uh, and that equates to around about seven uh, meters cubed worth of volume of platinum, which is not very big. In fact, that's probably the size of an average car. And then if we compare the total weight mined per year um, of platinum versus gold, it's actually 6%. So platinum is 6% of the amount of weight that uh, gold is mined per year. So it's a tiny fraction compared to gold. And obviously as we're comparing weight versus weight, uh, and platinum is 11% more dense than gold. That means that the actual volume, even though it's only 6% of the amount or the mass of gold mined per year, uh, the actual volume of the platinum mined versus the volume of the gold mined per year is tiny. So it's an incredibly rare metal. And of that amount of platinum mined per year, 40% goes to the watch and jewelry industry. So watches and jewelry is a major user of platinum. Platinum has been used on watches for many, many years. It's seen as one of the ultimate metals for a watch because of its durability and, and a few other different factors. Uh, but it's seen as one of the ultimate metals really for especially a dress watch as well. Uh, it's kind of a timeless metal. The biggest reason why people love platinum for um, watches is, is durability, like I said. And obviously for us at Bijou Diamond Jewelry, uh, platinum is our most popular metal because especially for in things like wedding bands and engagement rings, it's really important that that metal is durable and can last a lifetime. Because obviously the girl or the guy, whoever's wearing that jewelry, uh, will wear that piece every single day for the rest of their life. So it's got to last a long time. And platinum is by far the most durable of all metals. It actually has a similar hardness to steel, and that's really down to the fact it's so dense. But obviously that's a really important trait for it to be resilient to scratches and dents, being jewelry. The whole point of a nice piece of jewelry is that it's shiny and, and looks fresh and, and pretty. Another great thing about platinum is the fact that when you polish the metal, the metal doesn't go anywhere because it's so dense. So if we use the example of gold, uh, when we polish gold, some of the metal uh, actually becomes shaved off the, uh, the surface of that gold and you lose a little bit of gold every time you polish that watch or, or that piece of jewelry. Uh, whereas platinum, because it's so dense, the atoms actually just move around uh, the structure of the watch or the piece of jewelry. And all you do when you polish is kind of just smooth out the level again. So when you scratch a platinum watch, you don't remove any metal from that watch or piece of jewelry. You actually just part the uh, atoms away and therefore you never lose anything from that watch. If you take that watch or that piece of jewelry to a very talented polisher, uh, like our watchmaker who's been in the business for over 20 years, uh, then that watchmaker will be able to uh, polish the watch and move those atoms around and organize them back into the similar or same way that it was when it left the factory. Of course, that's an extremely important point to remember, especially if you want to wear this watch for every day, uh, for many, many years, which is why a lot of old Patek Philippe's are in platinum, because they're brilliant dress watches and brilliant everyday wearers as well as being extremely luxurious, but it also means that you can polish them further down the line. And it's not like your watch is slowly like wasting away or corroding away like it would be if it was a gold watch. Most watches and jewelry use a, a 950 platinum, or it says on the case, watch case, or in the hallmark stamp of a ring, 950, and that stands for 95% pure platinum. Uh, and usually the platinum is alloyed with another metal. Usually that is ruthenium, and the reason why companies um, alloy platinum with ruthenium is because the ruthenium adds an even more durable aspect to the metal and makes it even more scratch resistant and corrosion resistant. Um, however, that is an extremely difficult alloy to create, much harder than the uh, steel and the uh, gold alloys that different brands make. So that is part of the reason why the brands make so few of these platinum watches, which is what brings me on to my next point, which is why are platinum watches so expensive? Well. Firstly, platinum is extremely rare, like we had a look at before, uh, where we see that only 150 tons are mined a year, even though that sounds a lot. When you think about how dense met that metal is, it's actually not very much. And like I said, it's smaller than like a normal car, so in terms of volume. So that's not very much metal per year, which makes it extremely rare. Uh, less watches are made from platinum because of that, because it's a rare material and it carries a higher price. So there's not as many people out there that can afford a platinum watch. 
therefore the brands don't make as many of them. Because the brands don't make so many of them and the fact that the alloys are so expensive and difficult to create, the brands have to put a lot of money into the machinery and all the different parts throughout the process. And because they're not making mass production platinum watches, they can't necessarily make their money back as efficiently as they can on a steel or gold watch. Therefore, that process on that platinum watch costs them a lot of money. And also the process to machine and shape platinum is much, much longer than gold. You have to take much longer to machine and drill and uh, bore different bits of platinum because the tools can become blunt very quickly. So you really have to take about twice as long to do each bit. And in fact, versus if we look at this platinum Daytona here, if we were to compare it to a rose gold Daytona, it would actually take three times as long to create this platinum Daytona versus the rose gold one, purely because of how long it takes to machine uh, those parts because the metal is so dense and it's so easy to damage tools and machinery because of its amazing density. Uh, next point is the appearance of platinum versus gold and other metals. Um, so the obvious comparison for most people is steel versus white gold versus platinum because they all look very similar. Uh, to the trained eye like myself and other people in the industry, we can tell the difference between the metals uh, slightly. Uh, it is a still a really difficult thing to do, but you can kind of tell. Uh, the easiest one to tell is really platinum because platinum has this kind of luster and glow and life that the other two don't have. Uh, gold has slightly more so than steel, but platinum really definitely, you can tell and feel that kind of real glow and luster. And the reason is because you can polish it to a much higher luster and sheen than you can the other two metals. From most brands that offer platinum watches, uh, they vary the dials slightly. Uh, probably one of the companies that varies the dials the most for, uh, for platinum watches is Rolex. And the iconic platinum look is a blue dial like we see here on this platinum Daytona. They've tried to make it look recognizable as a platinum watch and not just look like the steel version. Uh, and this blue dial is obviously absolutely stunning on this Platinum Daytona. So they've definitely done a good job there. But other than that, that's probably the only way that most people will be able to tell the difference between a steel and a Platinum watch is really the difference in specs, like the dial options that you can get. Brands like Patek Philippe do very slight dial variations, uh, even more slight than uh, Rolex do. So in terms of those brands, for example, a 5146 in Platinum versus Gold is a very subtle change just having those Batten markers. Uh, or indexes versus those uh, numbers. So as you can kind of tell, the Platinum is not really about showing off that you've got the Platinum watch. Uh, the brands always only offer just subtle little changes just to differentiate it from the steel. Uh, but it's really not about showing off your wealth with Platinum. Uh, for me, the Platinum is ultimate stealth wealth and it really is the ultimate for every client that we have. They really enjoy the fact that uh, the Platinum is really under the radar into the common in a person on the street, it looks like a steel watch. If we take this watch here, this Platinum Daytona, and if we uh, took a rose gold or a yellow gold Daytona and put them side by side and we asked someone who didn't know anything about watches and we showed them these two watches and we said, which one do you think is more expensive? They would definitely go with the rose gold or the yellow gold, but little would they know that the Platinum is actually double and actually almost triple in certain cases, the value of the gold version. So for certain people and certain clients, they very much want to show off their wealth through watches. Uh, you know, it's a status symbol for some people. And for those people, the Platinum Daytona or the Platinum watches on the market are not really for them. You know, they're not interested in having that stealthy look and spending so much more than gold. They'd rather buy two gold watches and have their wealth a little bit more apparent or obvious uh, versus the Platinum. Platinum watches really are for people who don't want to draw attention they love the metal for what it's about and the rarity of that metal and really the incredible craftsmanship that goes into crafting that metal into a watch case. Uh, it's really for people who are a little bit more interested in watches and not necessarily bothered about trying to show off their wealth. So to conclude and really thinking about is platinum really worth it? Let's have a look at some of the main points that differentiate platinum from other metals. Uh, the fact that it's incredibly rare is an important, really important thing to think about. When you buy a platinum watch, uh, you're buying a piece of Mother Earth that's really rare and compared to the other watches out there, there's very, very few Platinum Daytonas or very few uh, Platinum watches available on the market. And for good reason that there's actually not very much Platinum available on this Earth. And that is a really special thing to think about because we are looking at watches that are already pretty rare, you know, a steel Daytona or a, any Daytona. There's 
a handful of them in the world. Sure, there's a lot more of them than there are Patek Philippe's, but there's not that many of those watches available. We're dealing with rare assets here. And then if you take that to another level and, and add platinum to the mix, it now becomes even more rare. So that adds value to their watch. And for people who really appreciate rarity, uh, that will be a, a real big selling point for those, for those clients. Another brilliant point about platinum is how hard wearing it is. As I mentioned before, it's one of the hardest metals in the lineup for watch uh, metals. And that makes it extremely useful as well. Obviously the high density means that you can polish it several times and as long as it goes to a good polisher, uh, the watch will still look fresh for a very, very, very long time. In fact, for many, many years. A platinum watch is definitely something you pass through uh, generations and it will last for a very, very, very long time. The extra luster and glow that you get from platinum versus steel and white gold uh, really is a special thing and especially if you own the steel or white gold version of the watch you can definitely notice and feel the difference uh, or see the difference. It's one of the ultimate stealth wealth watches as well that's a really big selling point for a lot of our clients that they want to go under the radar uh, but they want to have something that really is at the top top level of that range of watches and you cannot get better than platinum. So taking all of that into account, uh, Platinum is definitely worth the money to me uh, and to a lot of our clients as well. It's an incredibly special metal. If you get the chance to feel a Platinum watch in real life, you'll realize why it's worth that extra premium. Um, the experience you get from a Platinum watch or owning a Platinum watch or wearing a Platinum watch is very different to other metals. It's an extremely special metal and it has a real sense of incredible occasion and awe when you look at it. Uh, and it's a type of watch really that we increasingly find with a lot of our clients that buy platinum watches and that they never ever will sell that watch. It has this kind of special connection to you, uh, that you and it's very hard to describe but you really can only understand it when you try that watch on. I think that's probably why Patek Philippe does a lot of platinum watches, that they really are designed to last a lifetime. Um, and more than that, several generations in fact. I think that adds to the love for that watch, just the way the platinum feels and how special that metal really is. Thanks guys for watching and let us know in the comments what you think about platinum. Uh, would you spend the additional or the extra money for the platinum or would you go for gold or steel? And as always, if you're interested in any of the watches that I mentioned in this video, then don't hesitate to contact us. Our details are down in the description. Um, we'd be happy to call any watch into stock for you. We do have lots of Rolexes in stock, uh, Audemars Piguet's and Patek Philippe's, and we can always call something in stock if it's not available.